Big day today in the world of Maximo. June 25th, 2024, IBM has released the Maximo Application Suite 9. So, what does that mean? Real quick, quick retrospective in case you've heard about the application suite and you're going, nine, wait a minute, how long's this thing been out? What's going on? June 5th of 2021, IBM released the Maximo Application Suite 8 core. Okay, that was the core. Over the last three years, they've been adding on applications focused heavily on the breadth of the overall application suite, in some cases, enhancements of functionality and some new apps, but really filling out the suite overall. Started with the core, they added manage, then things like health and predict, monitor. So here we are, June 25th, 2024, announcement of the application suite nine. Now, what does this mean? A few things right from the top. First off, they've been pulling all kinds of other applications together under the hood of the application suite eight, and they were in a continuous delivery model. Uh, version numbers under the hood were all over the place. Really going to nine signifies a couple things. Number one, they've stopped the continuous delivery model. They're Theoretically, that was a great thing because you were getting code updates very quickly. However, when enterprise IT departments are trying to plan for releases and plan for updates and upgrades to applications, it became a nightmare. It's a big lift, it takes a lot of time, and they were constantly maintaining that application suite. So those guys, and then especially regulated customers like those in the life sciences are saying, hey, we cannot go through a big system revalidation every few months. This isn't working. So continuous delivery has gone back to more of a scheduled release date model as it was before with the support being uh, three years of core support, base support with one year of extended and then another optional three years of extra extended support on that. So Maximo Application Suite 9 is the go forward platform on the new delivery model. This thing is sweet. So now let's talk about what's really under the hood. What are we getting? What's changed? So. That same Maximo that everyone loves for years, now called Maximo Manage, so it's the Manage component within the Maximo application suite, is still within that same 7.6 genre of code base. So you're not gonna see something totally foreign uh, out of that, okay? You're gonna see a Maximo that looks very much like what you're used to already if you're on a 7.6 platform, and you're gonna see some improvements some much needed improvements, some really solid improvements. So one of the things that has happened within the Maximo Manage component is uh, new dashboards for scheduling and dispatching. This has been a big area they focused on. And so we have new dashboards. We are able to see a worker's planned route for the day. And now with some updates in the mobile, so we're gonna pause, mobile. Remember, with the application suite, they completely rebuilt the mobile, modern platform, more integrated overall. So now what that means is that with a more integrated mobile platform, things like my mobile device's location are shareable back to the core app. That was a huge problem in the past, it's now solved. So not only on my dashboard for scheduling dispatching can I see what the intended route is for someone today, I can also see where they are. Now, on top of that, from the mobile device, they've added the capability for me as a technician to either accept or reject an assignment. So I'm here at dispatch and I can see, hey, Jimmy, he looks like he will be able to take this. I'm gonna shoot that task out to him. He's gonna be able to review it on the fly and accept or reject it. This is tremendous. This, this brings Maximo 
way forward in terms of the capability to compete with a lot of those other newer platforms that were built on new code bases based upon mobile, you know, as, as the primary usage. And so this is a big deal. We get all the things that we love about Maximo, all of those deep roots, that incredible power and capability. And we're getting a lot of that feature now that we're used to in our personal lives with mobile devices, getting that right into the core Maximo capability with work order intelligence. So we're, we're in the evolution now of where the the developers, the product managers and developers are really looking at how they can start to take the AI capabilities under that Watson umbrella, the day-to-day -day activities that a technician might be experiencing within the Maximo managed component. So before we really saw Watson and AI as something that sat outside of Maximo and it was really focused like on big data crunching, modeling, things like that. But now something as simple as using AI to read what's going on with a work order and to predict what the problem code is. That's huge. It, when we talk about, we've talked about this a lot, historical data sets and what they're missing. They're missing materials, spare parts. They're missing failure codes, which is problem cause and remedy codes. They're missing duration it took to do something. And so IBM leveraging that AI component to start to predict what those problem codes are is huge. That's a huge step forward in helping us become more reliable through better reporting. And so infusing some AI in this area, this is genius. I love it. I can't wait to test it out. This is going to be cool. We also have a new inspection forms application. Somebody out there is going, wait, we already had that. Yes, you already had that. So the, the way the inspection forms were built from a code base perspective versus where they are now. Now they are built as part of the maximal application framework. What that means is a much more seamless sharing of information between the core app and between the inspection forms. Anyone who's dealt with over this over the past couple of years has found inspection forms were slow, if they got long, they got really slow, uh, issues with the configurations and making data pa pass back and forth properly. And that's because they weren't natively built on that Maximo application framework, but they are now. And so that's going to open up a lot of opportunities for greater power within the inspection forms. And my suspicion is that they're going to perform way better as well when we get into there. So that's another one. I really can't wait to test that out. So some additional things on the mobile side, probably the number one is calibration. So in the process of going to the application suite in the new mobile platform, we lost mobile calibration. And so companies that are in the life sciences or other industries where calibration is critical have been reticent to move because calibration is core to what they do. Well, it's out now. It's here. So Maximo calibration on the mobile is now out as part of the application suite nine. This is a huge deal. So life sciences companies, if you've been sitting around waiting for this, wondering, is it really going to come out? It's out. It's here. So now's the time. Get on the bandwagon, get moving, planning that application suite nine upgrade process. Decide what of this new functionality you're going to take advantage of. How are you going to clean up that historical probably mess of data? And what are you going to keep going forward so that you can actually see improvement out of this upgrade, see some ROI and see the business overall operating better out of it. Business value assessment is how you assess all of that overall. Guarantee you it's going to save you money. We'll talk more about that later. Back to the application suite. So now from the health side. So, you know, we don't focus a lot on health because most people don't have the data required to actually do a lot with health. You know, things like monitor, predict, and health are great, but you have to have good data. And so 
uh, some of the things that they are doing in health now are again those little drip infusions of AI in terms of as an example figuring out how we can take components pieces of data all over the place and say you know what I have an idea of what that problem code was and I have an idea of the expected you know downtime versus uptime versus downtime like this is unplanned downtime and therefore I can start to take a guess at what your mean time between failure is and that's huge that's a great use of AI it's not it's not big sexy stuff but it's very real very practical things that are going to help return value to the users to the businesses day in and day out so love to see this we love to see this granular approach to the ai infusion because this is where it starts to generate real return very quickly at that entry level so this is awesome you know within the application suite uh, they are starting to introduce reliability concepts. The most important thing is that they're on that path. And right now, they're ahead of where most of our data is. So even though from a reliability, pure reliability perspective, we could pick it apart, the truth of the matter is it's better than where most people's data sets are. So that makes it great in terms of its practical application. And so that's something we're definitely going to play with more. Um, you know, on the Betty side, one of the tools that we built years ago, we called it RC Max and it's reliability centered maintenance application built in the Maximo framework. So it's right there in Maximo. And I, I we're, here we love to see that IBM is starting to bring some of these baseline components in because that RCM is kind of like the pinnacle of the you know reliability from a theory and study perspective. And so there's a long way to go, but now that IBM is putting these hooks in there, uh, the average users, the average, you know, people who are configuring the system are now starting to become aware of this and realize it's important. And so that's a really big deal. Awareness is huge. That's key to eventually getting to the adoption. So Maximum Application Suite 9 is out. This is huge. And we can't wait to get our hands on it and really start playing with it with some real world data and Love to hear your thoughts. Love to hear your thoughts about upgrading. Love to hear your thoughts about how you're going to, how you plan to see an ROI out of your move to the application suite nine. So like us, comments below. Look forward to talking to you.